there's something about the beat that's like, yeah, it's inside of Office. It's always working, no matter what it sounds like. I think music is something different for everyone. I think it's something that can be a vehicle to help you get where you're, you're going or want to go. Lisa is a, a patient that came to me specifically out of her own interest. So she's highly motivated. She's very proactive to find anything that will help her. She has breast cancer. This is her second time going through this. Um, she's very aware of where she is, what her diagnosis means. She's very aware of what the treatments are like and what living is like. So she's, she's in it to win it. diagnosed a year ago today I went to the orthopedist and they're like you need to go back to your oncologist it's in your bones I thought okay I'm gonna die and then I thought no I'm alive right now I'm not gonna die I'm gonna live until I die so mm -hmm. this is just a way you know to keep on living and in music therapy I think is is it's just wonderful yeah. i love it i really do truly i mean it just brings me joy it's wonderful i'm like bouncing when i come out of here i actually get chills because it just makes me so happy there is something about things being more <laughs> Because it kind of goes. What's this one called? Um, keep you in, keep me in your heart for a while. Yeah. This song just kind of spoke to me. And I'd never heard this song before either. You know, I come in and it doesn't matter what kind of day I'm having, although usually when I see Brian, I feel pretty good. He helps me, uh, like if I'm having a problem, he'll talk to me about it. And I don't know, he's just a wonderful person. When you get up in the morning and you see the crowd. And there's a lot of people out there that I work with and I almost hear some of them say that you know, people are shocked when they tell them that they have this or that they've had this for years and years and years. And so I think that's just a good thing to remember while we're out and about. We never really know what's going on in someone's life. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to say that. To knowing truly I do like a gratitude prayer every night when I go to bed and after I run through my family Brian is so <laughs> and his family I'm grateful for him. medicines affect your memory and this kind of even though I still forget I can look at it and go oh yeah I remember mm -hmm. it's like anything in life if you keep trying you get better
So I wrote on November 9th, 2017, the patient engaged in instrument play in the resource center, trying out the xylophone and the ukulele. She appeared to enjoy the ukulele and was shown some chords to Can't Always Get What You Want by the Rolling Stones, Landslide by Fleetwood Mac, and Soul Sister by Train. Um, and that was the beginning of our journey, and that was, you know, quite a while ago. We've almost done weekly sessions since then. Being grateful, that's the biggest thing for me. And then with music, just makes you feel. And, you know, while you're alive, you need to feel. Don't take anything for granted, just love each day. Being grateful and especially as a music therapist to feel like I'm not just a part of their life, that I'm trying to do something to help them, but also they've changed my life. They've changed the way I look at the world. They give me hope. They make me feel alive. Um, and I try to, to make that a cycle with them as well, because I want them to feel every, everything I just said too. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight just to get through this day. And I like to say, this at the end of every session, whether it's outpatient or inpatient or wherever we are, we're gonna get through this day and we're gonna get through every day and with a real hard eye contact. And it's like this like, yeah, and that's it. See you next time. <laughs> yeah. My heartbeat might be too fast to play, too. <laughs> what? A club version. Yeah, that's true. You Check can dance to it, right? <laughs> <laughs>